So now we're going to be looking at creating user profiles on your board. And this is really important because where you've got a shared board, you want to have it set up the way you want. And so then if someone else comes and uses the board, they can then have it set up the way they want. It's also important because if you've signed into your Google profile on your board, it means that if someone else accesses that, they'll be able to access all your Google files, docs, etc. So we need to have some security measures in place uh, to prevent that happening. So again, what we're doing is going into the options in the bottom, and we're going into settings. And then there's an option here for users. So if I click on users here, and then I want to add my own profile. So if I click this here, okay, just click on here to accept. I'm adding a new user. I want to set it up now. So it's switching to the new user. Okay, my board's gone black for a little while there while it sets it up. Okay, so it set up my new user. So I can click in here, go into settings, go into users again, if I find users. There we go. So where I've got the users panel, I can click where it says you, which is the new user now. So if I click on here, and I can put in my name here. So I'm going to just put in the IT trainer. Okay. And so you can see now I've got a user. So you can have multiple users here. And so when somebody signs in, they can just choose the user they who they are. So then what I can think about is some security settings. So I've got a security option here. And I'm going to have a screen lock. So this means I can only access the device using this method. So I can have a swipe pattern, a pin, or a password. Bearing in mind you want to have it relatively simple so it's memorable, but you do need to have it so secure that the students won't be able to uh, guess it. Uh, being in, bearing in mind as well that when you're doing it, they will be looking, so just be aware of those things. So it might be a pattern or a swipe or something like that. So I'm going to do a pin. So again, if I just chose... Um, just out of the way. Okay. Once I've got that in, I click continue. So I confirm my pin. Do I want notifications? I'm going to say no, I don't want notifications. I don't need things popping up on my board. So when do I want it to sleep? So again, I can choose these different options. So I don't, you know, straight away when it goes into sleep mode, and maybe give me a minute to reactivate the board, and then I can add a little message. So again, I'm going to put IT trainer in, so that if it does get locked, then people will know, in a sense, who it's locked by. So again, these little things can be very helpful. I'm going to turn, go back out now. So once I've put my password on, if I actually want to leave the board and lock it, then I can just swipe up from the bottom. And then this menu bar appears and there's a padlock. So if I click that there, then it brings up my lock screen, tells me who that is there as I put in the IT trainer. Then if I unlock this, put in my pin, and then it unlocks the screen. If I want to then change the user, I click on the dots here, go into settings, click on users, and I can click on the other user and it will switch over to that user. But what if I come to the board and it's locked by somebody else? So I've come to this board and it's locked to the IT trainer and that's not who I am. If I click on the icon in the top right hand corner, it then brings up the different profiles that you've got. So I can click on the profile that I want and it will switch to that profile as I want it. So profiles are really important, therefore, to get your security set up, but also so then when we make changes to our profile, to our display, the apps we use, they are bespoke to us um, and what our requirements are.